everybody. We are about two and a half hours away from being back to Derek's parents' house. And we've had a pretty good trip. It's been kind of busy. It's not as busy right now, but when I was driving earlier, it was really busy. Um, but it's really pretty outside. It was kind of cloudy when we left Orlando, but it's been really sunny since we got into Georgia, which is kind of strange. But we are super excited to get home, well not home anymore, but what used to be home, and see our sweet little doggies, and see our families, and see our sweet little niece. So we yeah. We have board game night scheduled tonight. Yep. So we are going to play some Monopoly, and I think we have like three different versions of it, so we'll play three different games of Monopoly, Star Wars, the new empire thing one it's really cool um and then we'll probably play a game of the just good old-fashioned monopoly uh, <laughs> my sister and her boyfriend are really close friends with us um so before we left we used to have game night at least once a week yep. so we've been really missing having that um, we're gonna have game night again on Monday night, and then we leave on Tuesday around lunchtime. To go back and work some more. Yeah. But work isn't bad right now because I am doing a new thing. Why are you talking so country? Because we're back in Georgia. <laughs> that doesn't mean you get to talk country. Um. But yeah, work has been interesting lately. I, I've been training um, some new people. So it's really fun to share with them what I know. And I really like it. It's really neat to see Derek in a company that actually appreciates him and um, pays attention to how hard he works. He, We both worked in a company for or four years um, that was also a work at home company so that was really nice but he there were never any opportunities to do anything more than kind of what you were hired in to do nobody ever paid any attention to when he did kind of above and beyond what everybody else was doing and it may sound like I'm bragging but honestly he is the best worker that I've ever met I mean he literally does all that he can do always to make sure that everybody's taken care of even if it isn't his job if he sees that someone is lacking in some place he will try to help them or just do the job himself so to have him in a company where there's just literally opportunities at every turn um, that's really neat especially when you're somebody anyways who just kind of works your hardest anyways and then to see him be rewarded for the stuff that he does is really neat so we are super blessed and happy to be where we are in his job and excited to see there's literally endless opportunities where he is so um, it's somewhere that he could stay really for the rest of his career so we're happy to to be where we are. It took us a long time to get to that place. Everybody kept telling us that it would be worth it and to just keep working hard and to do your best. And sometimes it doesn't seem like it's going to pay off at all. I know there were many days and many nights that we just didn't even know if, what, if there was any point to what he was doing. And now to look back and I wish I could tell myself that if we had just waited and been patient, then something better was coming something we could not have even imagined so definitely so on the motivational note <laughs> pick something work hard at it and you can make it happen yeah it doesn't matter whether Derek hasn't finished school yet so he doesn't even have a degree yet but if you work hard you can have anything you want I mean really it
No, Fred, get out of the diamond lane. That's how they know you bad down here. They see you in the diamond lane. They know you have diamonds. That's how they get you. Get out. But there's no one in it. And I can... I That's why, Fred. They know. They know. They know you're not supposed to be in the diamond lane. Why are you in the diamond lane, Fred? Get out of the diamond lane. I don't have any diamonds, though. But they're going to think you have diamonds because you're in the diamond lane. See, diamond lane. They know you have diamond if you're in the diamond lane. What's half? Nobody care what half mean. It just mean diamond. That's the code for diamond word. Oh. So I'm supposed to stay in the lane? Because Fred, I've I told you diamond. 25 times. 25 times. Get out of the diamond lane. guys <laughs> hi hi my Is this little love oh no oh no oh no <laughs> are you so excited oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh. 